Hey folks, Steve Alcorn here with you once again. First of all, let me apologize for the lighting tonight. I don't have proper lighting set up. I will in the future, uh, but I wanted to put this video together as kind of a taste of what is to come on this channel if I decide to, to do it. Uh, I'm going to call this series Yard Sale Tech, and uh, we're going to look at things from yard sales like phones and electronics and uh, really cool, neat things that you can find at yard sales. And then how do you get them working? What do you do with them? And that's what uh, this whole series is going to be about. And I think that's the direction of the channel from now on. Um, yes, I'm still a reseller. I'm still going to do reselling things. But this is what I like to do also. And it is kind of related to that because eventually this phone will get listed on eBay and sold. As well as all the other phones I have. <laughs> so what we're going to talk about tonight is how to get this thing to get a dial tone and make telephone calls without a landline and it's actually a lot simpler than you think thanks to this little box right here and that's all it is it's a little tiny box it's called cell to jack uh has a usb that is just for power this is a uh, pass-through usb so when you plug it in for power you can still use this usb to power something else if you want or charge your phone or whatever and then it has a little phone line connector for one of these. Regular, just telephone line. Actual, real telephone line. As you can see, there's nothing plugged into the phone. There is no landline service. How this little box works is it takes the Bluetooth signal from your cell phone. That is really neat. The camera picks that up, but I do not. I don't know why it does that. I never noticed that before. Huh. Anyway, so it takes the cell phone signal from your phone here. What if I open it all the way? And yeah, now it goes away. And translates it into whatever technology this old thing uses uh, without the need for a landline. So you, what you're actually doing is making cell phone calls on your landline. You can use Siri and all other sorts of things. If you have an Android phone like this one, uh, you can do things with that one too. The reason I have this Android phone here is not because I'm going to hook it up although it is a similar process. Uh, it's because that's the phone. I'm going to use my Google Voice on this one. As you can see, that one works too. It's a Galaxy Note 5, I believe. 4G Galaxy Note 5. I got it at a yard sale for in a box of phones. So it does work, but it, it doesn't have service. It's, I'm just going to use Google Voice on it to call this phone. Uh, you'll hear it ring on there. You'll hear it ring on my Apple Watch. And you'll also hear it ring there. So that's what we're going to do, and I'm going to show you how to hook this doggone thing up. It's a lot simpler than, than, than you think. First of all, this is 5 volt in. Uh, they suggest that you use the power cord that comes with it, which is this one, because of the shielding issues and it could cause interference. I have tried other cords, and it does cause interference, so you do that. Just take and simply plug it into one of these little guys here, or you can plug it into a computer or wherever you get USB power. And for the sake of this, I'm keeping everything in camera view so that you can see what I'm doing. So I got a little extension cord here. It's just plugged into the wall back over there, down there, as you can see. Uh, so everything is in view, so I'm not, there's no trickery in this, I want you guys to know. <laughs> so you just plug it into power. You'll notice you get a blue light on it. You take this phone cord, or any phone cord that has this connection on it. It's uh, plugged into there. And then you plug it into here. All right. All right. So now you got a blinking red light. Why do you have a blinking red light? Well, because we're not connected yet. Uh, when I pick this up, I don't know if you can hear it. Okay. So when, before you set it up, you will not have a dial tone. You'll get warning. This phone is not connected. So then you go over to your cell phone. Whatever cell phone you choose to use. Mine is an iPhone, so I'll go to settings and Bluetooth. Oops, Bluetooth. And wait for it to come up down there. As you can see, it says right there, cell to jack 186. It might be something different for yours. Click connect. And it says connected up there. So we're going to pick up the phone. I now have a dial tone. You guys can't hear it. If you can hear that, let me know. It's very light. I cannot hear it from the microphone end, but I assure you it's there. It does have a dial tone, just like a regular old phone would have. 
So we're going to set this right here. Let me go back to the home screen. No trickery, guys. <laughs> I'm going to take this one off camera so that you don't see my uh, Google Voice information. It'll be right here, but I assure you, it's the phone I'm calling from. Uh, let me see. I don't use Androids very often, so don't remember how they work very well. Apps. Phone. No, I need voice. There's voice. So as you can see, there's the, the voice right there. I'll press that. And I've done a lot of tests with this, so my phone number's in here a lot of times, but I'm not going to show it. So, all right. Now, again, this phone is going to ring. My Apple Watch will ring because it's hooked in, and then this will also ring. These two, the Apple Watch and the iPhone, will ring first. And here we go. Okay, there it goes. And as you can hear, this phone is ringing. Now what happens when I pick it up? Hello? I don't know if you guys can hear that at all, but I'll put the phone up to the thing. I don't know where the speaker is on that, where the ear is. But anyway, it is actually talking. I'm talking to myself on this phone. It's kind of neat. When you hang it up, it hangs up on both phones. I'll show you right there, it'll hang up. There it goes. So that was that. Oh boy, I'm getting my phone in the shot there. We don't want to see that. Okay, not only can you do that, we're done with the Android phone for now. We're going to go back to the iPhone and this phone. You can actually make phone calls as well. So watch the phone here, the iPhone, and you'll see that the phone number actually does come up. We're going to call what's called Time and Temperature out of Erie, Pennsylvania. They've had this number forever. It used to be a party line. There's a lot of weird things that used to happen on it. But right now, it's still there. Time and temperature just gives you exactly what it sounds like, the time and the temperature. So we're going to go ahead and call that. It's 814-452-6311. As you can see on the phone, it says TT, which stands for time and temperature. I don't know if you can hear it. It's very quiet. We'll uh, put it on speaker on the iPhone so you can actually hear it there. Naval Observatory's master clock, the time is 10.56. Current temperature, 63 degrees. So, we and called it with this phone. Veteran, it's going to that phone. Your and if you can hear, I think got feedback through that phone too. All right. To hang up, watch. <laughs> oh, because I switched to audio, or I switched to that. If I switch back to car to jack when I hang up, it will actually hang up the phone. We can do that. Uh, but it doesn't just work with touchdown phones. Uh, it also will work with rotary phones. So we're going to try that next. We're going to unplug this, and I'll show you how it hangs up the phone on the rotary phone. Now, sometimes when you uh, do this, you'll need to set it up with a touchdown phone because you'll have to put star, uh, press the star key twice to get the, the thing set up and recognizing your Bluetooth or something. For some reason, I never had to do that, so it may just hook up. I do have version 6.1 of this uh, Celta jack. That may make a difference. I don't know. So we're going to remove this one. And we're going to go to a dial phone. This is my cream sickle phone. Uh, I do have an all orange phone and an all cream phone, but sometimes the rotary phones are difficult with this uh, device. Uh, so I took two phones and put them together. Uh, sometimes the technology inside of these will not work with this. Uh, what I'm doing it for is mainly to test phones so that I can sell them on eBay. Uh, although I do think I'm going to keep this one on my desk because I like it. The only thing I don't like about this is it has the permanent cord. The other one had a removable cord. This one has permanent. But that's okay. It works the same way. So we're going to plug that one in. All we're doing is plugging it right in where it was. And you heard a little ching from that. It does that when I plug it in. I don't know if it's the way I've set the phone up inside. I've changed some things around to get it to work correctly. Uh, on When I was trying to do it with the orange phone. 
Uh, right now, the innards are from this cream phone, and it worked fine out of the box. The orange phone did not, and it had a whole different setup on the inside. So some phones do, and some phones don't work when it comes to rotary. All touchtone phones that I've tried have worked. All right, as you can see, nothing else plugged in, just the cell to jack right there. Um, we're going to go ahead and do it again. We're just going to, you guys already know that it will receive a call. Actually, you want to hear that ring, don't you? We're going to do the same phone number nope, on the other phone, though. We'll do the same phone number. Actually, yeah, we'll do it the same way we did last time. All right, so now my watch and everything will ring, and then this will ring. There you go. It rang. And you can pick it up and talk on it just like any other phone. I uh, moved it and it, it uh, hung up on me. So we're going to go ahead and make that same phone call. you got to pick up the receiver just like you did back in the day. Uh, and then you dial the number. As soon as I start dialing. Take your medicine. Oh, Echo. Stop. Echo was uh, reminding me to take my nightly medicines. Just some vitamins, so it's not that big a deal. All right, so again, you'll watch here. I got some sort of, oh, that's just my reminder. Uh, dial just like you did back in the day. Eight, one, this one does that, I don't know why. Four, five, two, I could probably fix it. All right, now watch there, time and temperature again. We'll try to get you to hear it again. All right, so then when we go to hang it up, watch this phone, and it hangs up. Really, that's all there is to it. However, just to show that it also works on a modern phone, I have a little bit more modern phone. It's a little funky. This is called the Simi. It doesn't have batteries in it right now, but I don't think I need it for this demonstration. This is the phone. Uh, as you can see, there's a receiver here. If you hit open, it uh, doesn't like to open. It has, it has a calendar. It has an alarm clock. It has a radio. It does a lot of things. It has a calculator there, as you can see. Uh, it also has an alarm clock on it. I just thought it was really cool. I paid a dollar for it at a thrift store, and there's the proof of that. One dollar. You can't read it, but it's right there on that sticker. I do need better lighting. There you go. One dollar. Powers on is what they had on it. A little church-based thrift store or something, but it was brand new in there. It did come with its own cord, but uh, I've lost it. All right, here's the phone jack side. So we're going to use the same cord we used earlier. And hopefully I don't need the power for this. I don't think I do unless I'm using... Um, using a uh, the alarm and stuff. Go back like this. Pull a little bit of that out of there. I didn't set up very well for this uh, <laughs> scene, did I? But it's okay. All right, let's see if we got a dial tone. I don't know if you can hear it. All right. Again, the only way that's plugged in is right there, right straight to the cell to jack and into the power. We're going to make a phone call with this one. Oops, <laughs> I almost forgot how to do that. Now this one is not doing it, probably because it don't have the power on. do something here. Let me put the batteries in it. Maybe that is the problem. Because the last time I played with this, I had the batteries in it. This thing takes, uh, what are they, triple A's it looks like. 
And I keep the triple A's in a very special place over here. They are in the Detroit Tiger mode. Sometimes there are some things you got to do to certain phones to make this work. I'm not going to put the battery covers on. We're just going to flip it back over. Hey, there, there's your calendar and all that stuff. Set for 2002. So, all right, we're going to try again. Still have a dial tone. Yep. There it came up as time and temperature again. So even with a more modern type phone, everything works. So it's a great uh, little tool. This thing cost me, if you order from sell2jack.com, it cost me $31 plus shipping. Uh, if you order from Amazon, it's a little bit more, but then you get the protections of Amazon if you're a little bit worried about that. Uh, they're the only seller, if I remember correctly, on Amazon. So, uh, it's a, it's coming from the same company. Uh, so it's a, it's a great little tool if you want to keep a phone on your desk. Uh, when you get a phone call on your cell phone, it'll forward to that as well. as you, So you can answer it however you want. Um, so that works really well. Um, I keep, I've had the brown one on the desk all week and have been using it and it's worked flawlessly. If you leave the room or leave the house, this will disconnect from your uh, Bluetooth, of course, because you're out of range. Uh, and then as soon as you walk back in, it'll reconnect on its own. As long as you don't, you know, forget this network or whatever you do. So uh, as long as you're in range of this, and I do not know what the range is. I haven't tried. I know if I go in the kitchen, it's fine. If I go upstairs, it, it's fine. So in my house it works, but any much farther, I don't think it would. Uh, but it is a good little tool. Again, it's cell, the number two jack, all one word. And I sell to jack.com if you want to go buy it straight from them. Uh, it comes, ships out of California. Great little tool. Uh, there are other options to do this. Uh, you can get a, what is it, a, a line simulator. Those are quite expensive. There is a another version of this uh, by another company. It has an X in the title. I can't remember what it's called. It's in the $80 or $90 range. Probably works a little bit better. Uh, but this does work fine. I'm assuming that you could uh, put multiple lines through this. It'll all just ring the same number. Um, one more thing I wanted to show you. If I push star, I think it is. I'll probably have to have that off the hook. Star, it'll bring up Siri on my phone. As you can see down here, Siri's on the phone. Hi, Siri. She's doing weird things. Here she is. Siri. Hey, Siri. I don't use Siri very often. Let's try it again. Star. Hey, Siri. Well, anyway, it brings it up. There's other things you can do. If you have, you know, like your lighting and all that sort of... Turn her off. Your lighting. We're going to try it one more time, though. Uh, whatever you have connected to your phone, you, you know, like your house stuff, you could do that. You can run apps from the... The touch tone, there's that instructions on how to do that. There are some other videos online. We're going to try Siri again. Hey, Siri. Oh, and it comes through the phone when you talk to her. She, uh, look up cell to Jack. Oh, she must not like that command. <laughs> anyway, she, she was talking to me. She said, hello there. What can I do for you? So that's another thing you can do with it. Um, there's some interesting things, and it works really well through Android and Apple. Uh, go get you one. Plus, the, the main thing that I got it for is to test these phones so I can sell them on eBay. If I can say something is tested, I can get a little bit more money for it. Maybe not a major amount more, but a little bit more. So that's the reason I bought it. Uh, it arrived quickly. It works like a charm. I've never had an issue with it. I've had it. I've been running it straight for about three weeks now and no issues. So that is it for the video, folks. If you like this type of video, 
uh, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I can do more of this kind of thing where we buy old technology or old things at yard sales and thrift stores and whatnot uh, and uh, test them out and see if we can use them or maybe find a new way to use them like this. Uh, so if you have that desire to watch those kind of videos, let me know. Of course, always remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Sweetwater out.